about to go into Badlands National Park. So let's go! And check it out, we just entered the park, but we have greeters. It's funny to listen to them. You hear the noise, like them ripping the. You know the noise that it makes when you like rip weeds or grass out. That's the noise it makes in the heat. <laughs> a whole bunch of them. Woo! We get super close. What's up, buddy? Sneaking up on him. Sneaking up on you. What's up? If I just stay here, will you attack me? No, thank God. Oh, look at that. He's just munching. It's like a chewing gum. And welcome to the Badlands. This is cool. It's actually a little bit like Canyonlands. And let me just tell you, it's so nice here when it's quiet in the morning. It's where you see all the wildlife. And then we got even more of our friends in here. I think, oh, that one's got like a radio look. They're like monitoring them. That's interesting. And that must be a mama or a father. It must be, a, I would think, because they probably want to know like breeding and stuff like that. That's just a guess though. Don't quote me on that. But this is, this is cool how you get to go down into like the pinnacles. Look at the color changing on that rock right there. It's the different layers of sediment that do that. Different minerals. And check out the color of these hills. They're like yellow. Interesting. It's almost like somebody wanted to do like tie-dye. See how it like changes like right there? And then from up here, you can really see the color change. Look at that. And then they take you back up to the top so you can look over the valley. I didn't realize, oh look, there's, uh, I'm not sure what they are yet. I haven't figured it out because I haven't been to the visitor center because the, there's only one and like the side I entered on that's not anywhere near it. It's like 24 miles away. But I, he scared me at first. I didn't realize he was there. Let's try to get a better view of him. Whoa, there's a lot of them. Look at that, there's a bunch. Chillin'. Check it out, they have prairie dogs here too. Just like in Theodore Roosevelt. They even make the funniest noises ever. I love these guys. Now, of course, when they call one of the lookouts a panorama point, you gotta go for a panorama. It's just crazy how vast this area is. Look at that. 
And again, the bikers are here for their rally. It's pretty cool. There's so many of them too. It's really, it's cool how they have such a tight community. All right, so that's pretty much it for Badlands National Park. Uh, they have a couple like World War II, um, not World War II, Cold War uh, Minutemen missile sites uh, that you can go and tour as well. But I've already been to like a nuclear facility before and stuff like that, so I, would, I didn't do that, uh, but it's right next to it. You well, welcome now to Nebraska! We are in Nebraska now, in case you didn't get the message. Woo! Alrighty, welcome to Scott's Bluff National Monument. Fun fact, well it turns out that that is the bluff right there. That is not what makes this spot so historical. Of course you can go up there, we're gonna go up there, but what makes it horror historical is the Oregon Trail and the Pony Express uh, all went through this area. And right here literally is the path they took. Um, and that's what makes this a national monument. That's why it got its recognition. And then of course this was here, so people associate this with the National Monument, but it's not really the significance of that. It's the significance of this road right here. But let's drive up to the top of the bluff and check it out. And then fun fact, these are the only road tunnels in all of Nebraska. All right, but we have arrived. Look at that giant cloud. There's a little bit of smoke in the air because there's a nearby wildfire, of course. Now this though is a ridiculous view. Okay, look, there's the trail that they would take. Uh, as part of like the Pony Express and the Oregon Trail. There's Scott's Bluff down there, in the city. Oh my goodness. And just check it out, whoa! Mega Bluffs. <laughs> Look, there's a hand. Little fingers. Look like the Finger Lakes. Just like in Canyonlands, they have these. That cloud right there, that is my favorite thing right there. Look at that cloud. It's massive. And then here's the northern view. All of Scott's Bluff. And then that way is Wyoming. So you got Wyoming, Scott's Bluff, the rest of Nebraska, and then what's below Nebraska? Kansas, Kansas, pretty sure. Kansas, yes. Uh, but yeah, there you go. The views up here are amazing. Buddy Ryan. Sam? Here we go. Ready? 12 gauge. I <laughs> oh man. Check out the storm that's coming. Oh man. What you do in Nebraska? You got four Oh what? You got birds. Ice. Oh man. <laughs> Just look at that, that is ridiculous. Hey, okay, form. That is cool. Just missed it, but look at that. <laughs> what the? Just missed it. No, I missed it, like, oh. missed getting you. <laughs> Shock the that's crazy. Supposedly we might get a tornado. It happens often, they say here. But uh, we saw clouds like starting to spiral earlier. But we're probably gonna leave before that happens. Now freaking hail! This is ridiculous. There's hail. What? Oh man, we're gonna make it out of this thing. Oh my goodness! This is ridiculous. Oh my gosh, that hail is massive! Oh my goodness, I'm so glad we made it out! 
I just hope that we stay out of it too, because it's not the end of it. Uh, now we got the cows to avoid, man, all the cows are in the way. Come on, cows, move! It's coming behind us. We were going to go out the other way, but we decided not to. I'm afraid to hit a cow. Shit. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh man. Look at that, all the cows. They on a run. Look at them all. <laughs> oh yeah, look, you can see over there in the distance. You can see how it's super, it looks like it's really foggy, but it's not, it's just all the rain. Look at that, look at that, right there. You can barely see anymore. There's mountains right there. You don't, like not mountains, but like hills. You don't even see them. Look at the cows. The cows are in the way. Sorry, there's rain coming. We gotta go. You gotta go too. You should be going. I can't imagine those little baby cows getting hit by hail. That's gotta suck. All right, we made it out, but it's like alongside of us now. But look at that clear blue sky over there and those giant clouds. That's beautiful. I finally got the car and wash that I've needed for a long time. This is the first rain in like three months for me. I haven't had May rain since May of like 18. Just seeing those clouds is cool. I can't believe we had hail. This is ridiculous, look at that. That is so dark and scary. And then right over here, it is beautiful. There is no rain, there is nothing to worry about. <laughs> but back there, you better run for your life. You wanna know how much rain that we just got? See all that right there? That should not be there. It lines the whole way. That should not be there, I was told by my buddy. That is usually dry usually dry. That is ridiculous. Oh, just look at that. Look at those clouds. That is my favorite thing in the world. Oh my goodness. Got some sun like hiding behind the clouds. Not really hiding, but it's probably like a shine. But... So the crazy thing is I got the car wash that I needed. I'm just checking for like dents from the from this hail. The hail was like, it was literally like this big. It was ridiculous. I mean, it's big for me. I'm sure that that's usually big. People see that here. Um, but then, like, going to the dirt roads, we drove by an 18 wheeler, and the 18 wheeler literally just like blows all the sand up in your face. So it's pretty dirty again. And look at, I like, cleaned off a bunch of the bugs. There used, a lot, used to be a lot more bugs. I wanted to show you that, but now it's too late. Look at all those dead guns. I said it rained a lot. That's literally what happened. Look at the car. It's literally halfway up the tires, if not more. They flooded the end. That's crazy. 